Alrighty. Good morning, everybody. Or afternoon, whatever, wherever we are. Uh, this will be a quick series, uh, PK's Lab, long range FPV stuff. We're going to keep it real informal, um, but going to try to do some quick reviews of products that you might use along the way to help make your long range FPV experience better. Uh, it'll be geared around 433 and 900 MHz gear, so that's Crossfire, Dragon Link, whatnot. And on the video side, 1 3 stuff. So today's item for review is the Dragon Link LNA. So we're going to do some magic and flip the camera over to the other side. What? All right. There she is. Don't mind the mess. Again, this is an informal series. So claimed operating voltage, 4 to 15 volts, and there you go. Currently it's hooked up onto the network analyzer, so we're going to do a couple sweeps to see how the performance is. So let's get this everything lined up. <laughs> Springtime, upstate New York. All right. So we got a couple traces going on. So the top trace in yellow is through. So basically what's going through the device. And right now the device is off. And then the bottom trace is reflected SWR back out into the antenna. So the SWR, so I've got four markers. Let's see if I can do this with a pointer so I won't mess up the camera. So 1258, 1280, 915, and then the fourth one, which is kind of funny how this displays it, is 433. So whichever one's the active marker always gets pushed up to the top. So anyways, you can see that we've got, because the device is off, lots of loss all over the place, and the SWR uh, kind of sucks. So you're not, there's no front end pad or all right, so we're going to turn the device on at the minimum operating voltage of 4 volts. So here we go. All right, so what do we got? Got about 14 dB of gain in our desired passband, which is pretty good. Um, 16 dB at 915. So this is definitely not something you want to use for crossfire, or well, with a crossfire radio link because we already have enough problems filtering it out. Um, having extra gain at that point would really swap out your video 1.3 gigahertz video receiver. And you can kind of see do, 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 marker number four, right? Still has some gain. Did I get the marker four right? Maybe I did that wrong. Because that, that looks really high. Four. Sorry. Is what I get for doing it first thing. I, there we go. There, marker four is actually right. So they have some kind of null slash notch at 433. Not that that's going to do anything if you're filtering and your video receiver is working correct. Um, but anyways, it is what it is. So there you go. Um, and we're going to turn it up to 15 volts, the maximum operating voltage. Just give me just a second. All right. Or up at 15 so no change that's good there's a LEO or something inside I did notice the LED gets pretty ripping bright when you're up there so they just have some kind of uh, resistive uh, resistor in front of the LED so it, so this is 15 and then this will be four Let's see so it comes down all right now for current consumption, let's see what we got set so 4 volts, around 60 milliamps, and 15, there you go, there you go, 75. Alright, so that wraps up our quick review of the LNA. There's a lot more to actually look at, so you'll, one of the things you'd want to look at is the actual noise figure of the device what it's blocking or IP3 performance is. Uh, but for this quick review, that's good enough to give you a rough idea. So basically, 
you got 15 dB gain, so whatever your noise figure is for your video receiver, it's most likely going to help with that, um, unless this thing's absolutely terrible, which I doubt. Um, but do not use it if you're a Crossfire user, because it's going to make things worse for you. Uh, yeah, we're going to hopefully continue this quick series of FPV long-range videos as I go along, as I get stuff. Um, and Hopefully I can share my experiences with you on what works and what doesn't. And there's a website, the pk-fpv.blogspot.com, where I post all my findings. Um, it's usually a little more in-depth in these videos, lots of charts, a little more discussion. Um, so feel free to stop by there. I'll, I try to cross-link with RC groups and FPV lab, uh, even though the lab is kind of quiet. I wish it wasn't. I really like the lab. Um, but it is what it is. All right, I've rambled on way too long. Hopefully everybody's having a good day and looking forward to the flying season because it's starting to get nice and sunny outside. Yeah, really, Jones, and I hope that everybody else is too. All right, until next time, see you.